starting off by covering my eyebrows with the glue stick method. Just running some glue through my eyebrows, smoothing it with my fingers, waiting for that to dry, and covering them with a cream-based concealer. I don't use liquid because sometimes it'll reactivate the glue. And if you have thicker eyebrows, you might want to do a couple layers of glue and let that dry really good. But I have super thin eyebrows. I'm setting that with a powder using my Sigma FX brushes. Any face powder would be fine. Then I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and map out my design on one side of my face. I'm using a cat skull picture as reference. I like to use the NYX pencil because it's super creamy and when I mess up I can just wipe it away with my finger. It's really easy. Sometimes I use white face paint or even an eyeliner it will be fine, but I like the Jumbo Pencil. Then I'm going to take um, my Mayron Star Blend Cake Makeup in White and fill in my muzzle and my nose area. Kind of like a creamy powder and then i'm going to take a split cake with purple blue and lavender and a sponge and swipe it in one direction and then pat it on my face in a c shape um, split cakes are really great for easy quick blending if you haven't used them it takes some practice but once you get the hang of it they're super easy blending that lavender in with the white then i'm going to add some more dark purple around the edges make sure you pat not swipe it gets a better blend Working into my hairline, and then I'm taking my Star Blends again in white and filling in the cat skull. You can use white face paint, I just had it in front of me. It's kind of a softer look, I really like it. Then I'm filling in my eye socket with some Wolf FX Black and a Low Cornell Gold Grip Paintbrush. I think it's the number five. These are my favorite brushes for face paint. And then just on the tip of the brush, I'm going to start outlining the skull, but kind of letting it bounce around so it looks kind of dried and cracked and skull-like. Definitely doesn't have to be perfect. Still using my photo as reference. filling in the nose again real cracked and jagged and then I'm gonna fill on the other side of my nose smooth more like a kitty and then here I'm doing the muzzle and my brush strokes are a little more solid I'm pushing down and pulling up to get that nice point more smooth and fluid than the other side and then my kitty lip and then some thick heavy black eyeliner for the cat side still with my face paint And then for my stripes, um, I start by pushing in the center with my brush and pulling out and flicking up for that sharp point. And then I push in the center again and pull and flick up on the other end to get a point on both sides. I'm making some V shapes and some stripes, just curved lines in different, different directions. But just make sure you have a center point, like the between your eyes is like the focal point and let all the stripes start or end there and then kind of curve around side of your face if that makes sense. You want them all kind of going in the same direction basically. And then I added some dots different sizes around both sides of my eye and on the top and bottom and then my camera died but I added some fur lines to connect the muzzle to the side of my face and some more random dots. And then I'm using a black eyeliner to line my waterline. Waterline. And then using my Sigma FX brushes again and some black eyeshadow. Just patting that on both eyelids and around to um, mattify and set the paint. And then with that black powder again, I'm going around the edges to give it some dimension, make the mask pop, make it look like a little shadow behind it. And then also giving it some dimension within the mask. Um, wherever you put the shadow it's going to look like it's recessed and whatever 
is brighter white or lighter is the highlight is going to look like it's above or out if that makes sense and then i'm going to do the sugar skull part i'm using um, mayron paradise makeup in mauve and a smaller number two low cornell brush and making teardrops in descending order and then some swirls i'm going around my eye here kind of like in a sugar skull kind of you know fashion kind of design and some more teardrops and swirls that's all it is just make sure you keep them kind of close together it gives it a nicer look it could be random just just not too random you kind of want to have an idea where you're going with it I'm going to go around my eye and then around the muzzle part and then around the top of my skull, just around the edges. And also I'm going to put some dots in descending order. I like to go from little to big to little. It just looks nice. And then I'm going to take the same purple and on the other side do some random sized dots in my stripes. And while that paint is still wet, you want to tap your finger in some cosmetic grade glitter and pat it on. Um, the wet paint will allow it to stick to the, the dots. I'm going to do the same thing with my lips. I'm using a, a liquid lipstick in purple. I think it's LA Splash. And then I'm going to pat on some glitter to... Um, to my lips and then off camera I put on some lashes and some contacts put on my headdress and that was it I hope you guys liked it and please like comment and subscribe and I will see you in my next video thanks bye Thank you.